I, it surged out of me like water from a spring gushing to, out, out of the ground. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. <laughs> and something written on the wall. In blood. Bloodlust? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. This murder is far too bizarre for ever for any everyday amateur to not have committed it. Unlike with Saika, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. Did you, you see what I mean, don't you? Bro, you are looking so sus right now. <laughs> I don't think it's him. For a part of me wants to say it's not him. I don't know, it just seems like it'd be too easy just to point that it's him. But then who else would do it? And for what reason? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will, will begin. begin! Okay. Apparently when three or more people discover a body and announcement plays, so that has so to be three or more people to discover the body. I imagine it's so that the search of the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly. The body discovered announcement? Then Chihiro really is... Dead. Yes. Mm, man. I didn't want them to die. Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. What's the dude taking charge of like that? I read it like that. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. I know you feel bad. Y'all had like a slight bond going on there. So, there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Damn, man. What the? Yeah, what is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't been born even been born yet. I don't have any memory of it even ever being alive. <laughs> Shut up. The word bloodlust is written on the wall wall in blood. I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust on the in blood, it doesn't sound kinda doesn't it sound kinda familiar? A murderous fiend who kills again and again using bizarre and brutal methods. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodless is written on the victim's own blood. So I'm trying to... I still don't think it's him, though. Even though it seems like fingers pointing at him, he's so hype about it. So I'm trying to frame him, maybe? And what nickname did the internet give this murderous serial killer? What? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend. Created, creating a reputation of having more downright cruel killings. Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? Why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. Nani? The real? What are you saying? Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There's no way! Hmm. But going so far as the right blow us in the scene, I am surprised of their stupidity. Toko! He always points towards the entrance of the girls' locker room. Oh, Toko was the last person to arrive, and now she was just standing there. Why? Why? <laughs> Ew. Oh, she fainted? Oh, that's right. I just remembered that she said about she faints every time she sees blood. Mm. So she is hemophobic? Just a second. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she heard, as if she heard her. Toko suddenly shot out awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction. I was at so a lot of words. Yo, Toko is kind of strange. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. Ew! Sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know. It happens, right? Was I the only one? Close your mouth! Toko, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Whoa! Is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> she must have. Yo, Toko is <laughs> weird. She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> the world has a front and a back, a top inning, and a bottom, a sea of truth, and web of lies. Well... This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, no, no. Everything's fine. At least the stutter is all gone. 
That's a good thing, right? Mm. I might be best if we can take her back to her room for the time being. I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Yo, she's like, I don't mind helping. I don't want to go alone. 100%. Yo, is that right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro? Then unless we do something, more victims could be start piling up. Forget the vic more victims. If we mess this up, we're all dead meat. 100%. Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. What? I remember any rule like that. Actually, I just came up with it. This dude wanted Kuma. Hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigate. Let's go. The victim was Shihiro <laughs> Fujisaki. Saki. The time of death estimated to be around 2 o'clock a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room in the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow in the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. I'm assuming the blunt object had to be that dumbbell. Hey, Makoto. Okay, what's up, man? What do you want, Togami? Did you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, don't you know? Geiko. Um, so what do you need? Okay. I'm gonna let you cooperate with me during my invite. What? Yeah, what? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. Seeing so has some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of country. <laughs> Yo, this dude Togami is he's funny, low key. Now then, shall we get started? I don't wanna join you though. But we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing here around. Makoto, you are still a pushover, man. There's blood on here. I believe this is the blunt object used to hit her in the head. Hit, um, to hear in the head. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and... This is a bloodstain. There's a bloodstain on the dumbbell. Hmm. The Monokuma file said... A blood... Yeah. Does that mean that this dumbbell is actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have been splattered with blood during the murder. Porcelain's got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. The more I look at it, the more strange it seems. This must- yeah. Well, but... What? But, we're still gonna- not sure he did it. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> I wonder about that. Huh. This dude really wants it to be Genocide Jack. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard Chira talk about it, right? All I need to do- all I need to get stronger. Yeah, I remember she said that more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't that strong. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Chihiro is complex. I can't but wondering what it might be. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed else somewhere else, then carried here. She's very light, that's true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I still think she came here on her own, by choice. What makes you say that? She's been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying that she came here to exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. If she did want to start exercising, but specifically mentioned that she couldn't do it by herself, she needs support from others. Sakura's kind of been added to you, but... Now I believe it's about time for us to move on. Already? What? So this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigation? <laughs> Figure out yourself. It's no fun if, if you don't, right? You can only enter the locker room corresponding with the gender listed in your hand individual handbooks. <laughs> it's impossible for two people in a row to go, go through while the door is unlocked, correct? <laughs> if there is some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the steel mounted Gatling gun would instant in initiate the switch cheese slaughterer. So then, that means only girls can go into the girls' locker room and only boys can go into the boys' locker room. Hey Makuto, I can see right through you. See right through me? <laughs> Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since you was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get so in, in there. Other words. As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get that? Get it such right? Ignorance. Good lord, you're simple. But, am I wrong? You should pay closer, closer attention to the regulations. Nature has been right in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook e to another student is strictly prohibited. Borrowing someone, someone else's hand, else's is perfectly fine, so they could borrow someone else's handbook to get in. 
so they managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hm, fine. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking mental faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? Hm. That'll help you understand what's going on. Nice! Okay, why are we in here, um, Togami? So, what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure out myself? He just turned his back to me? I want to see your ugly back. Okay, let me check this out. I haven't checked out the letters in a while. There's my box here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handbook. No, wait. There's three of them. I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka. Hm. Of course they turn on Sayaka's. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The handbooks show Junko's name when I start it up. Then the one, then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with a dozen and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. What a way to go out! You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the E handbook to break during that kind of assault. Damn it! Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! It's Bud Albert. What? That e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. Uh, but if my amazing handbook does have a single weak point, it does. I can't hear you. But it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go break any more handbooks. What? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing that it what his weakness was, right? Hmm. hmm. Hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. You might ask, but how could that be? Leaving that question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. Okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? This dude says stuff and it ticks me off every time because I'm just, it's like Makoto saying something and he's like, actually no. What do you mean no? Complete your sentence, jeez. Okay, what's up, man? So I have to talk to you about it now. Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Actually, I think he's onto something. Because if the killer is like mimicking Genocide Jack, then maybe following that same case of how Genocide Jack was, whatever, people went about that case, then we may be able to solve who the killer is. Absolutely, I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. Why do you have no doubt about it? That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? There's nobody else it could be. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using his bizarre and brutal methods. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. You idolize this person, that's the only reason you wanted to be them. And the fact that you're saying is Genocide Jack, the bizarre kill, all they did was hit Chihiro in the head with a with a dull, with a bar dumbbell. Like, I don't think that's a bizarre way to whatever. What am I even talking about? Okay, I have not. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. Do I have to click on him so he can show me? Oh, okay, I have a basis to believe that. I assure you that Genocide Jack is one of us. Okay, so we're going to see what this this proof is. There's something I'd like to. There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This is the archive room. A few moments later. Oh, uh, hey, you two. Big Trevor. Tr Triple, <laughs> big trouble. Need your help. Is it something to do with Toko? To with you. But this is an emergency. What is it? Speak up. <laughs> Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, be to Togami? Strange. Since it's Toko, I must admit, I am intrigued. Oh, I can just go in. I don't have to ring the doorbell. It's unlocked. I may as well give it a shot. The door swung open slowly and silently. <laughs> Why are you shaking like that? What's up? Holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gas gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you holding yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? Won't allow it. Huh? Won't let Genocide Jack have control! Have control? 
Mmm. That's that's sussy. What do you mean by that? You acting different too. Like I was saying, before, if she, if she is really, if she is related to this somehow, if she, I don't know, Toko, saying I won't let them have control, split personality. Yep. Okay, but then again, we have to, even if that is the case, we still have to figure out why and everything. Connect the dots still. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Togami. She likes you, man. After a few moments. What do you want? Ooh, you're also annoying. Uh. Bakula. <laughs> it's Byakuya. I'm sorry, I couldn't keep our promise. What promise did they make? But don't worry, never mind. I, I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. Whoa, Togami, what are you up to with her? Both of you are suspicious. And with that, the door slams shut. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. What do you mean by meet up? Hold on, yeah, Makoto, yeah. What was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise. Yeah, what's what his promise? Oh, I have no idea. There's only her delusions, I'm sure. But if I say I don't know, it means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. No, I don't like this guy. Without waiting for a reply, Togami sped away. Running away from, from the thing. Don't call out to him. I heard it heard to catch up. I remember on the side of this door is the archive, right? Hurry up and go inside. Oh, it's here. It all makes sense once you're inside. Why didn't you want anyone in here though? I don't like Togami. Okay, man. If you pay attention to your surrounding, you're sure to discover that value up for yourself. Okay, let's see what we could... Yeah, first of all, what's this? There's a wooden box. It's empty. Though judging by the smudges and the dust, it looks like there's something inside. So someone took something outside of this special hmm. box. There's an extension cord plug in, in there. It was proved to be very useful when I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? This is a complete case file. Every, every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack case has been, complete, has been compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. There are two notable characteristics of in every Genocide Jack murder. Is that every crime scene with the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. Okay, so it's like what we saw. And the second is when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Save your surprise, the best part is yet to come. For the second characteristic where the victims are suspended, the ones who knew about the per particular fact were members of the police and higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? Hm. In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody even knew the aspect of each crime. Only key, uh, only key officials and the killer himself knew about the act of this mounting, uh, hm, mounting the victim. Now, if you recall Shihiro's corpse, her body was almost certainly mounted in this fashion. Yeah. So how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? Unless they were the killer. Makes sense. Right. Well, you know about this too, so... Unless they went in here too, right? Something? But most likely because they're also the killer. But the in fact, but in fact the answer is quite simple. So in other words, the corporate isn't a copycat killer. It's the real Genocide Jack. Ugh. In other words... That's right. This There's evidence that Genocide Jack was hidden him has hidden himself amongst the rest of us. You might just manage to ferret a clue out of here a clue or two. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Yo, screw you man, I ain't gonna do that. You let me see it? That's fine. We don't We don't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look in, in at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Okay, so I got to look at it. Okay. Byaku, Togami handed me the file, and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand slipped. Had I reached a page of photos from the scene of each crime had been collected? Dang! But wait! There's more! Now take a look at the next page, and you'll find another interesting tidbit. Next page? Okay, what is it, Makoto? Profiling results? All the crimes took place either on weekdays at night, or during holidays, either day or night. 
the most common time for killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect ling lingering at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness had never come forward, it's unlikely they were, there was any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that suspect may potentially suffer from dissociation identity disorder. Who, who's acting up? Who's acting weird earlier? Toko. Okay, well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? Come on, you. enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be in, be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your goodbye. own. Well, goodbye. Okay, we're going to check out this boy's locker room. And then... Okay, what do you have to say for us? Yufumi has discovered evidence. Okay, what do you got you me? I can't reveal it just yet. Oh yeah, Miss mm. Londonberg mm. said she witnessed something worthwhile too. Really, what did she see? Well, she refused to tell me. Seem... It's like that with, with, with when a girl bullies a boy she likes, right? Right? Okay, so where's Celeste right now? Mm. We're housed by the dorms. Mm. She was there. Shut up! She was there, but at the same time, not there. Ooh, what's this? There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is this? This poster. The popular boys band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite fit the boys' locker room. Okay, what's this? Bloodstained poster, the blood most likely is not where they part. The big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. A girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. For real, like, why is this here? Yeah, the boys... Yeah, it's almost like it's switched, because in the boys' locker room, we have that boy band. So the posters have been switched? Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the poster in the boys' and girls' locker rooms could have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I never paid any attention to the posters. But there is something that has been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. Yeah, there, that exists. The other day I spilled some of the carpet. Spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. That's in the boys' locker room. What's going on here? So the posters are switched and the stains and the carpets were also switched. You have to say Kyoko. Indeed. Okay. However. But I do have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Yeah, what? What is it? Well, Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. That sounds suspicious. But so then. before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Okay, okay. thank you for that, Kyoko. Okay, the hands are bound with what looks like rope. The rope was used to prop her up in some kind of crucifix position. Yeah, with the messed up. This rope has a plug. It was an extension cord they used. The, the extension cord. That's like the, there was an extension cord in the um, archive room. Yeah, it's not plugged in. The cord is long enough to reach out with from here. But last time I saw it, it's definitely on. It definitely wasn't right here. Yep. He was using the extension cord. Yep. Connect the dots, Makoto. Yeah, okay. Come on, I know it's around here somewhere. It's gone. Okay, so the genocide jack file was removed. Did someone take it out from the archive? But the only one who would do something like that is Togami. I can't think of anyone else, but yep. Why is she in here? <laughs> Excuse me. Why is she in here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you got anything related to the case? Most unfortunate. I knew you were going to ask about that. Last night I saw her right here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. Really? Indeed. This is right before nighttime. What, what are they doing in here? Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Just what? Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? Yeah, but why are they in the warehouse? Her what? There? How did you know? Oh, who would have guessed? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. 
Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assume she was merely stocking up to exercise in the morning. Okay, so she got some supplies to exercise. Okay, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this ever would have happened. You get what you deserve, I suppose. Dang! There was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag, so less said she saw she were carrying, which means that the kid would have gotten rid of it somehow. Well. Yeah, she was a bit strange. She didn't really hang out with any other girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. I don't know, she talked to all the boys all the time. It's kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but it's only fine with the opposite. Ah. Maybe she grew up with bros? Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? I guess. You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Yeah, like... Is this it? Dang. We gotta go solve it now. The moment you've all been waiting for! The class trial. trial! Okay. You remember where to meet, right? Right. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Okay. <laughs> See you soon! Oh boy. Begin the tra class trial or... It's about to begin.